Hey, Ed. <laughs> Come to order, Ed. <laughs> Is a building going on? <laughs> hey, welcome to the uh, limited series for March 2013. My birthday month. Oh, God. So what is that? The eyes of March. What is that? March 17th? 13, 15th. Beware the eyes really? of March. Really? Two days before uh, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day. Oh, so no. His day is two days after my birthday. Ah, that's what it is. But you know, Sandra got an invitation to a sushi party on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> that's funny. Does that make freaking sense? That's, that's great. It's called, yeah, they're going to have raw corned beef. I told him, I said, I hope it's not green sushi because that would not be a good sign. Mm. You know, this Lost Canyon wines are always really good. Lost Canyon wines out of this world. I mean, this is on another planet. This stuff is so dense. This is a 07 Syrah. It, they brought me the whole product line. I like them all. Uh, this is the one they had the most of that we could feature in the club. And I just, you know, I, I love it when the guy comes. Every time he comes, I'm like, oh, great. I know I'm going to taste something good because yesterday during tasting day, there was a lot of crap that came through there. I'm like, what is this? I go, how can you bring these wines to me? I mean, come on. So they got to bring them somewhere. I know. They're trying to <laughs> fool you or something. <laughs> this wine. Now, you guys, this is not for your grandma with her filet of salt, okay? I, I don't like to tell you what to drink with what, but I'm telling you right now, mm. you better get some wild boar or, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, something venison. pretty rough around the edges because this thing is going to just hammer through it. And, you know, a little airy, a little decanting would do some wonders with this wine, too, but wonderful blueberries, and but not that much gaminess. No, it's really you know? not. It's got some gorgeous fruit, though, but it's different fruit than you get from uh, most Syrahs. Part of that is because it's got some age on it, and that's one of the nice things about Syrah. When they age out, they lose some of that over-animal component that I'm not crazy about. That could about. be what it is, yeah. What's interesting, I just looked at it. They only made 275 cases, so we bought virtually all of it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which is great. Man, a lot. Yeah, a little more of that. I haven't had that. That's pretty good, good, you know. This is a $31 bottle of wine. Reorder price is $16.99, and um, I'm doing a 94 on that Seriously, one. that's a 95 maybe. Can you, come on, $16.99, that's like what? Some of the run-of-the-mill uh, California-based Cabernets you buy on the shelf. Well, yeah. You don't get a Syrah like this. No, you don't. You get a Syrah like this at the wine of the month. I'm not just tooting my own horn, but I'm tooting my own horn. Yes. Well, somebody's got to. Okay, while you're tooting, could you pour the wine? So we want to just lose. This is two reds in the limited series. Um, so let's just try this just solely. Now, Roots Red is a, a red. It's a red. Put it down there. No, don't come in. Put it down there. Oh, what is it? We don't have a sample of a Reposo, but this is Maze, Maine. I don't know if you want to use it. Oh, it is? Yeah, this is, we have a sample of Oh, maize. good, I'll use that. Okay. This is Ed Jose, everybody. This hey. is his arm, anyway. How are you? <laughs> All right, thanks. Right. Wow. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one's oh, delicious. This guy's so good. It's called Just Soli, which means um, roots. Something like that. I forgot it's what not, it is. It's not the TV show. Hmm. No, it's Roots Red. And but, he, you know, they kept sending me wines, and I kept saying, well, you know, they're a little too expensive for what we need. And all of a sudden, he brings it to me and says, you can sell this for sixteen ninety nine. So I'm like, sold. Wow, this is really good. It, you know, it, it's hard. It, it, it has almost a Ronish kind of Grenache-ish mm -hmm. sort of, a Morved kind of, kind of thing going on here. I like it. I think it's delicious. Wow. 2008 Roots Red Just Elite. Um, Sonoma County. It's 100% Sonoma County. Which, he uh, sells it for $22, which is cheap enough at the winery if you drove to it. Yeah, and the but reorder for price is $16.99. Great buy. Really, really good. I'm doing a 95 on this. I love this mm -hmm. wine. Mm. It's got a certain density to it. But it's like elegant. Black, black fruit. But it's elegant, you know? It doesn't beat you yeah, over the head like the Lost Canyon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the Lost Canyon too, but it's like in your face yeah, wine, you know? Style. And, well, it is a year older, too. No, it's the same vintage. No, it's a year, no, it's a year older. Year younger. Okay, so next we're going to uh, Verdejo. Uh, One know. of the favorite grapes around here Absolutely. is Verdejo, along with things like this, a Sicilian... Uh, Grio. Grio, yeah. This Grenache is, uh, Blanc, this is just Inzolia. This is Spanish. I want to know. You know, that's what's so cool about grapes. <laughs> you know, whatever the DNA is, whatever the complexities are, but... There's just something unique about every single wine. And so, you know, when we go to Armenia, they have Adeni, that's the indigenous grape. And it makes, it can make very good wine. Unfortunately, they don't make very good wine with it. But it, you can't liken it to anything. You, you know, you just say this is their day home. This is just absolutely outrageously good. <laughs> and 
The thing that's annoying about this, though, is there's another grape called Verdejo, spelled with two L's instead of a J, and they are totally different grapes. That's right. You know, I mean, <laughs> there are that's similarities right. to right. their taste, but really they're good. totally different grapes. And this is, the, I don't think I've ever met a Verdejo I didn't like. I really, I really don't. It's like Grenache Blanc. They're just luscious, you know, absolutely luscious. Isn't that the Spanish name for a um, prostitute? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't know that, and I don't think I you should either. I just want the fact that you never one you never liked. That's right. Twelve uh, twelve ninety nine <laughs> is the reorder. Twenty ninety nine is the price on the shelf, which is great. And twelve ninety nine reorder is a killer. And I'm doing this. I'm doing a ninety six on this. I, you know, this. I was just gonna say ninety six because the, the more I'm tasting it, the the more it's intriguing me. The more you want to find what else is in there. You know, that's really kind of like talking to me. No, that's yeah. We yeah. found enough already. Thank you. Yeah. It's not exactly saying Eureka. <laughs> No, I guess it is. What you find? What you find with that? Here we go. All right, regrouping. You know, I'd never heard of this winery until I wrote about it a couple of years ago for the Wine and Month Club selection. I, these guys make incredible they wine. They make really good wine. They make. Re you know, we don't think of Canada as being as being able to make wine, but the fact is, they do make phenomenal wine. And, and most of the grape growing areas of Canada are just you know a political boundary across from the Columbia Valley of Washington. That's it. You know, and and so we're talking 30, 40 miles. And this, the very, very similar types of, of climate and great soil. And they have their own appellation. They have their own control. Consulman, it's it, it's cold, right? It, I mean, these cold weather grapes. So you should taste like the Merlots. They're like, you can like look at them, see through them. They're so thin. some of them but are, but but they're, it, believe it or not, it's not that cold because they still have that the influence of the of the mountain range, you know, the, the Cascades, so that they're shielded from 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 the really cold winds of, of both the east and the west. There's a certain amount of, of firmness to this wine. Yeah, There's there really is. Tangerine, great acidity. Um, rind character. Absolutely. Completely departs from its counterpart like the wine we did last month from, from New Zealand. You know, the Kuluru. Kuluru. Yeah, Kuluru. exactly. But, you know, uh, Pinot Blanc likes a little more heat than it's getting here. But, boy, does this, they do a great job. I'm doing a 95 on this, too. I think it's just stunning wine. The flavor profile is incredible. Mm-hmm. Well, we keep trying to, we, we don't like to revisit too many wines, but we have to because they just produce good wines. What are we supposed to do? What's our job is to send you good wines. And if it's, sometimes it's repeat the brand, that's what we've done. I don't think we've done the Pinot Blanc from them. We did a Riesling. I think. No, we did a Riesling. It was out of this world. I mean, it was really, it was really good. good. And there's a Canadian maple leaf on the top. Hey, that's the Vintners, no, that's the Limited Series for March 2013. And we have the Sunburned Palms by Ed Masiana. <laughs> Home Alone again. <laughs> 